Hi, my name is Jen Hyla. I was diagnosed with late stage Lyme disease in the fall of 2015. I believe I was infected in 2011 while camping in the woods of Texas during basic training. I woke up one morning with a swollen knee without any injury. I went to the base doctor who prescribed ibuprofen and bed rest for 48 hours. That night I remember feeling kind of strange. I had swollen glands in my throat. I felt feverish and a little dizzy. I thought it was just from the strong anti-inflammatories and being cold all day. I skipped dinner and went to sleep before it even got dark outside. By the time my bed rest orders were up, I was feeling fine and I never connected any of the symptoms to the numerous bug bites I had at the time. I didn't even report the bug bites. To this day, I still have never seen a tick on my body. My knee swelled up a few months later during job training in Mississippi. I went to a different military doctor who prescribed two weeks of crutches and ibuprofen every four to six hours. When I got to my home station, I was seen by a third and fourth military doctor. In the spring of 2012, I was diagnosed with arthritis at 30 years old. I was given multiple injections of cortisol over the next four years. My knee has never felt the same. I had a few strange infections that seemed completely unrelated over the next three years. Multiple sinus infections, one that got so bad it turned into an ear infection, GI problems that would come and go, I gained weight that I couldn't seem to lose, I had intense bouts of exhaustion that would come and go very quickly, I had intense pain in my elbow, neck, shoulder, and knee that would come and go. I started having allergies to dairy and grains. I started feeling really down and anxious for no reason. I never put any of these things together and neither did any of my doctors. In the summer of 2014, my GI problems got much, much worse. I was diagnosed by two different doctors with Giardia despite multiple negative tests. My symptoms would come and go and they weren't really slowing me down that much. I did two rounds of flagell antibiotics and multiple parasite cleanses and just tried not to think about it. By September of 2015, I became extremely sick. I lost 12 pounds in seven days and ended up in the emergency room with intense pain in my right side, feeling dizzy, unable to drive or read. I was losing the feeling in my hands and feet and I couldn't eat or sleep. The emergency room told me I was just dehydrated and sent me on my way. I ended up in a gastroenterology office a few weeks later. By this time, I could not feel my right hand all the way up to my elbow, and my feet were either completely numb or felt like pins and needles. My vision was going in and out of focus. I was confusing words and having trouble speaking. I was having panic attacks daily, mood swings, and food was causing intense intestinal pain, hives, and just going right through me. By this time, I had lost 26 pounds. The best GI doctor in town told me he wasn't sure what was happening. He ordered a bunch of invasive tests, and I knew it would be at least a month, maybe two, before we would get the results. I was so fed up with all the testing, I refused to leave until he gave me a guess as to what was happening. And then I just started uncontrollably sobbing. He got so uncomfortable, he handed me a box of tissues and held the door open for me to leave. He said, none of these symptoms fit with your gut issues. You probably have Lyme disease. Go ask your GP to be tested. I can't help you with that. And then just kind of shooed me out the door. I thought, seriously, dude, I grew up in Las Vegas. I've never seen a tick on my body. There's no way that I have Lyme disease. I went back to my GP to be tested and asked to be tested, just to prove him wrong. Unfortunately, and so incredibly lucky for me, he was right. I did have Lyme disease. If he hadn't said that, I have no idea how long it would have taken to figure this out. Also, super lucky for me, my GP sent my blood work to a special lab and then stood by the results when I argued with her. It must be a false positive. I have never seen a tick on my body. On September 30th, 2015, I was diagnosed CDC positive with the ELISA and Western blot test for Lyme disease. I also tested positive for mycoplasma and multiple viruses. 
I was prescribed two weeks of doxycycline and told, sure, you'll probably be fine to go on that trip to Thailand in six weeks. A few weeks later, when all those gastro tests came back, I was also diagnosed with SIBO, hiatal hernia, leaky gut, and stomach ulcer. On October 7, 2015, I had a PIC line in my arm and was started on aggressive treatments for Lyme disease that continue today. Even with the CDC positive Lyme test in hand, I have had to argue with doctors who push other diagnoses on me and pressure me into more expensive diagnostic tests. These doctors argue I cannot possibly still have Lyme disease, even though all of my symptoms have remained mostly the same. Last month, I ordered the DNA Connections Lyme panel test for myself. This test is not covered by insurance. Unlike the blood tests, which rely on nonspecific antibody markers, it can detect the DNA of bacteria. My results showed two different strains of Borrelia and Ehrlichia in my urine despite two years of aggressive treatments. The CDC states relapsing fever and Ehrlichia are spread by the Lone Star Tick. The only time I would have been exposed to this species of tick is during basic training. The military granted me 10% disability for arthritis, but denied my Lyme disease claim, even though it is well documented that Lyme disease can cause arthritis. The small monthly disability payment I receive covers roughly one-sixth of the medication I require to function. It's very upsetting to me to think that all this could have been avoided if any one of those doctors had recognized the early signs of Lyme disease. The lack of support and education of this disease is astounding. I have had to fight my way through each and every step of, diet, of treatment. Insurance will not cover many of my doctor's visits or treatments. I have been unable to work full time since August of 2015. I have sold nearly everything of value, exhausted my retirement savings, and now fundraise for my treatment. I have been spending between $600 to $1,000 a month on medications for the last two years. I was once a self-reliant and active person with a successful career as a field biologist. Now I struggle to read and write and must rest after dressing myself. I am 35 years old and have an alarm going off every two hours to remind me to take medications. I have severe memory problems and often feel like I'm not really here. I live in a haze and struggle to get through conversations. I have terrible pain, chills, headaches, digestive issues, muscle spasms, anxiety, depression, and fatigue every single day. I have no appetite and cannot tolerate many foods I used to enjoy. I can't do most things I used to enjoy. But somehow the debilitating symptoms of Lyme disease are not even the worst thing about it. The misinformation and the complete lack of education, research, and support is completely maddening. Most people I talk to don't know anything about Lyme disease, including many doctors. It's completely exhausting fighting your body day in and day out. But having to convince your doctor and loved ones of what you're going through is a special kind of hell. I think we all deserve better than this. 